Hello gang and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my Minecraft server. I was on my way up to get that block right there as I came up over this hill and lo and behold look what I ran into. So I guess that's going to be this episode real fast. I'm going to go over there and double check what they got, see if there's anything to trade with. I'm going to light up the whole place. I'm going to prevent them from falling into any holes and uh Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to keep some villagers alive this time, but, oh, huzzah, I am so happy to see a small village here. Um, maybe I can find out if they know anything about the crazy man over there, the crazy mad scientist who uh, who uh, seemed to have killed everybody else in the name of science, but um, awesome. So now there's another village. I'll be investigating that in a little bit, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this block that's way up there. I hope I have enough cubes to get up there, and then I'm going to... Uh, get back to what I was working on down here and what I've done is prepped let me see how far I can get I've prepped a lot of this space as you can see there's gonna be a couple more uh, pumpkin farms I mentioned that on the last episode but we're gonna knock them out and get uh, go ahead and do some full time lapses so yeah I'm gonna go light that place up and then uh, you won't need to see that so I'll just go over here and Next thing you'll see is me doing time lapses of the pumpkin area, and uh, we'll go from there. Awesome. Nice start.
right, gang, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse of things that I've done around here. I added a pumpkin patch over there, and one over there, and one up there, and one right there, and a couple little bits and bobs around the area, little spots like that. I hear you. And uh, a couple over there like this over there, just so it could fill in. It's going to take some while for all of those to fill in, but when they do, I hope they'll turn out pretty nice. So this will look more and more like a pumpkin patch area with wild pumpkins and then, of course, a uh, pumpkin farm. But uh, what I need to do right now is, uh, ooh, there's some sugar right there. Uh, let me see, sugar, do I have any eggs? I think I picked up a couple eggs along the way, so this is what I'm going to do. I am going to get this chopped down. I'll just use this axe to do it. Oh, there we go. And I think I picked up an egg, and I am going to make me a pumpkin pie, and I am going to go visit the villagers around the mountain here and offer them a pie and ask them if they would like to participate in my pumpkin pie festival. I do. Excellent. Okay, so here we go. First things first. Got to make some sugar. Boom, boom. Now I got eggs and that. No pumpkins? <laughs> <laughs> all right. I've been doing all that work with pumpkins, and I converted everything to uh, pumpkin seeds. So I need some pumpkins. Hold on a second. I like these two, that one, and that one. Right this way, gentlemen. Let's go make some pumpkin pie. And I'm going to go offer it to the villagers and see if they might have some wheat and uh, would like to make some pumpkin pie beers. Maybe some... Yeah, that's... I think all three of those. Look at that. Yay, pumpkin pie. Nom nom noms. All right. So I'm going to go introduce myself to the villagers. I'm still dressed as a farmer, so they shouldn't be too frightened or intimidated by a gentleman coming around the corner in full diamond armor. And uh, see what they have to say. So I'll get right back to you as soon as I approach the village and can see what they've got. Be right back. All right, welcome back. I guess that didn't take very long indeed. It's right around the corner. I was able to find that pass right there, right through the mountain, so I didn't have to go all the way around. That was really quick. So what we got here is a nice little sand village. Hello, good sir. Would you be interested in some pumpkin pie? No, but you'd take wheat for diamonds. I got that for days. Potato for di emeralds, excuse me. Emeralds for bread. That's a fair trade, but you're not interested in pumpkin pie, huh? Okay. Let's see here. Oh, that guy looks like he's eyeballing my pie. You interested in pie, sir? No pie? Okay, how about you, sir? Would you like some pie? You'll take... M oh, zombie flesh? Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Always nice to find one of these guys lying around. Yes, I'd be more than happy to give you zombie flesh for my pumpkin pie. What's going on? Somebody in here making all that noise? Oh, what's in here? Obsidian. I can make a portal right here. Awesome. I'll leave that there for now. No, I'm not stealing your stuff. More? All right, how about you? Guys are working on a roof, huh? You know what's good for working on roofs? Some fresh pumpkin pie. Wow, all of these guys will take zombie flesh. Coal. Wow, that's a bad trade. Hmm. Some good stuff here. Yowza. All right, I'm going to keep checking out the village, see what else is going on around here. Help! There's a little house over here. Anybody in here? Nope. 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 Anybody in here? Nope. Anybody in here? Nope. Well, it's a pretty open f house, but uh, I don't see any of them. There's a guy in there. Let me go see what he has to say. Hello. Excuse me, sir. <gasps> oh, leather. Still, that'd be not bad. Leather for emeralds. That's not a bad trade. How about you, sir? Oh, yes. You are the... Yes. Care for some pumpkin pie? No? Okay. Ooh, a sandwich. Let me go see what this guy has. Again. Potatoes, wheat, carrot. Those are all pretty decent trades. Not too shabby. What's going on in here? This guy's got a backyard. That looks nice. Okay, I'll check with this guy, and I think this might be one of the last guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good trades here. I'm going to go get a bunch of zombie flesh, because I'm sure I've been saving it for one reason or another. And uh, come back over here and start trading emeralds again. It doesn't look like there's uh, 
a giant pit that people will fall into. What's this? Wool. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. All right. But what I want to do is find the zombie flesh guys and the... Oh, there is a little something over here. Oh, boy. Well, you know how we take care of that. We're not letting that happen again. Okay. I'll leave a little right there so we know that that's there. I think that's it. Don't see any other giant pits falling down anywhere. So these guys should be able to survive long enough that I won't have to worry about it. But on the off chance, how many torches do I got here? I got a few stacks, so let's light it up. So I'm going to just spend some time lighting this bad boy up. And then come back later. You guys don't need to see that. So I'll cut to later. All right, gang, welcome back. I'm heading back to my main base. Um, I had gone and explored the village, and uh, you saw me start to light it up, I think. Maybe I cut that out. <laughs> Anyways, uh, oh, come on, load in already. There we go. So um, while I was running around, I was trying to grab this ender guy because I wanted some uh, ender pearls to start thinking about making an ender eye. But, um, I, what? What the heck? I didn't run into anything. My boat just fell apart. Wow, there's a lot of these guys down here. Anyways, while I was doing that, uh, I forgot to put my armor back on. So, like a knucklehead, I died. Ugh, what a dummy. But uh, I've got it back on now. I've cleaned up some things, and I've got a plan. First thing I want to do... Well, there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do, so I shouldn't say first thing. But I'm going to need all this sugar from pumpkin pies. So I'll get these... And I'm going to replant my trees over there to get them going. And I am going to make a random interval pulse clock. And if that doesn't make any sense, what I'm going to do is set it up so that uh, whenever... Well, you'll see. It's Well, you'll see. I'll cut to that right now. All right, gang, welcome back. This is my testing world, as you can see if you've seen it before. And the reason I'm doing this here is because I haven't really decided how I'm going to set this up. And I kind of want to use it as a random interval pulse. But uh, let, let me show you what I'm talking about here. This uh, can go right here. And I'll do it like this. You know, leave that blank and turn that into a dropper. Into a hopper. And we'll give it one item. Uh, why not a sign? Right? Okay, so then over here we're going to do a comparator, and then into a repeater, and that will go into, say, this block, and I think that'll work like that. I'll just run it straight across like that. Will that work like that? Or does it have to be up one? It has to be up one. So we'll go up here, like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then this piston. Like this. Yep, that's where I want it. Excellent. Um, yeah, that's where I want that, too. So that'll be water. That'll be water. And I think that's about it. Right? Okay, so. Don't like that for now. And this for here. Boom, 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 boom. And. Yeah, I can get rid of all of this now. So let's get rid of this and this and this. And bring out. Oh, perhaps that's not where it is. Let's try here. Nope. Okay, let's try here. Get some seeds, and while I'm thinking about it, bone meal, I don't know where that is either. So let me look for bone meal. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, I know where that is. Let's get out a diamond hoe for now. 
and this is what's going on here I'm just gonna use three just to kinda get it looking good and we'll go ahead and seed those up boom 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 we'll do it again over here and this is the random pulse interval device that I think will work I came up with this while I was messing around on a uh, Xbox version of the game so what will happen is periodically where'd it go oh come on alright pump pumpkin boom so periodically a pumpkin will grow oh close already and when the pumpkin grows a pulse will go out and it'll slow and slam it back down so let's see uh, boom see isn't that clever so whenever a pumpkin randomly grows in this spot it'll complete the circuit and this dropper will fire off whatever one item is in there and then something will be in there which will make this comparator fire off a charge into this repeater which will send off a big charge along the way here and this builds it back up powers off on excuse me the piston destroys the item beneath it all right so that's the random pulse generator that I am going to be using over by my pumpkin farm to power some automation I just thought it was seasonal and befitting I hope you like it feel free to use it I haven't seen anything like it but if you have go ahead and leave a comment and let me know and on that note back to my game world all right and we're back I'm here back at the home base and as you can see I've taken the pumpkin out because I have a pumpkin farm now <laughs> so I don't need them here and I'm growing up all this wheat because I'm gonna be exchanging it for that sweet sweet emerald because I need that emerald for the long-term project I have on the bridge to nowhere um, down here in this farm area these cows I've been rebreeding because I had accidentally or inadvertently had this one level too low a half block too low so they were taking damage as they flowed around and were dying I was down to two so I uh, trapped them up in there opened up the top a little bit and started breeding them up and oh maybe I'll get that thing as you can see I have plenty of wheat already hay whatever wheat and hay to uh, trade for all that stuff so uh, I might be doing that. I might take an episode to just go do that for a while. I don't have a zombie spawner on this particular game world, and that's what I forgot. I have another on that Xbox world server I was talking about before. I have a, a zombie drop right next to my base, so I have a couple chests full of flesh. But I have plenty of sugar cane, I think, and I've turned off the chicken coop so that it is now letting chickens live there. And they should start popping down eggs any second now. In fact, uh, maybe I should... No. Yeah, these guys should be starting to make some eggs here pretty soon. So this will fill up. So then I'll have enough eggs and sugar and pumpkins to make pumpkin pies. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for now because I think um, this is going to run into about 22, 23 minutes easily. But uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it so far. It's raining here too. I just came from my test server world and it was raining. Oh, well. Anyways, folks, I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. Feel free to stick around and see what's coming up next. I'm going to use that random interval pulse generator to uh, create a timer for some automation over there at the pumpkin farm. And I think I might dress it up inside of a tractor. So I'm going to spend some time trying to create a tractor on my test server. And once I've done with that, we'll get on with that. But that'll be the next episode. This episode needs to wrap up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is wrap it up here and to get back to you soon. I might put... Uh, eh, da, 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 da. Well, what I'll do, I'll do. <laughs> I'm not going to delay it any longer. So let me wrap it up here. Until next time, however, guys, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Feel free to stick around and keep watching in the future. And I look forward to seeing you. Have a great day, and we'll see you real soon.